Welcome in Rams fans to another Rams house video. In this video, I'll be previewing the Rams versus 49ers. Yes, for a third time, but what better way to get our vengeance on the 49ers after losing, I believe, six straight versus them than sending them home at SoFi to propel ourselves to the Super Bowl. I mean, wouldn't that be amazing? So we're gonna get right into the preview. Let me know what you think down below as far as the outcome of this game, whether you're a Rams fan, 49er fan, NFL fan, I don't care. Let me know what you think down below. I love to engage with you guys. And another thing I want to get out of the way, as of me recording today is Sean McVay's birthday. I just want to wish him a happy birthday and thank him for all the success. I know he's probably not watching this video, but pretty much ever, ever since he just stepped into the building, as soon as he pulled up to the building, the facility, this Rams team has elevated from a terrible team who is nowhere near playoff conversation to expected Super Bowl conversations every year. And that's a huge credit, obviously, to our organization and to our GM less need and everything like that. But you also have to give a ton of credit to Sean McVay. So I just want to get that out of the way. And my other thing is just enjoy the moment, Rams fans. Who knows how long this good team, this super team is going to last? You know, who knows how good our team is going to be in like the next five, six years? So let's just enjoy the moment and enjoy this season. It could end next week. It could end a couple weeks from now. We'll, you know, we'll see. But at the end of the day, I just want everybody to enjoy. This has been an amazing season. Whether we win the Super Bowl or not, hopefully we win the Super Bowl. But man, I'm just excited to be in the conversation for it. As for the video, let's just get right into it. So getting into the video, obviously these two teams know each other really well. And if I've learned anything from watching us lose to this team so many consecutive times is we got to be able to stop the run and we cannot get out coached. We were so close last matchup to beating these 49ers and we beat them in the first half. We were up like 17-3, something like that. We were that close to beating them and we let it all fall apart. And a big reason for that, I believe, is the run game that they have and their scheming they have. They have Debo Samuel, obviously he's an amazing weapon. He's been great this year. As much as I don't want to admit it, he's a great player and he's just definitely a huge talent. We gotta find a way to shut him down. But I think most importantly, just shut the whole running game down in general. This is what the Rams have to do. I, as simple as this, if we hold the 49ers to under 60 rushing yards, I think we win this game. We just have to be able to stop this rushing game. I know a lot of fans and just a lot of people around in the NFL think Garoppolo is really good. To be honest, in my personal opinion, I think if we stop the run, we're gonna beat these guys. That is the identity of this team. and can run it really well. And you even look to our game last time, they were not running it well at all in the first half and we had we had really good answers for it and we were obviously blowing them out and we were making Jimmy Garoppolo make mistakes. That's what you want to do if you're the Rams. But in the second half, they got it going. They got their schemes going and everything started to flow. They made the adjustments. Sh Shannon is great at making adjustments. We have to be able to stop this 49ers run game because I believe that's the lifeblood of the team. I believe this is how they operate. And so you gotta obviously shut guys like shut down guys like Debo Samuel. That's gonna be a hard thing to do. But just stopping the run game, tackle them as soon as you meet them. Don't let them break the tackles. Don't let them get three more yards after contact. Don't give them any of that. You have to be the more physical team. I liked what I saw the first half of that last game. We were the more physical team. We wanted it more. We were shutting down that run and making them make mistakes. And then our offense was going down there taking care of business. On the offensive side of the ball, I think for the Rams, we saw when Matthew Stafford was under consistent duress for that, uh, with that 49ers front, we saw things were not really going well. You had to, I mean, for any quarterback, it doesn't go that well. We have to make sure to win the physicality, obviously, of this matchup, but win up front, win in the trenches is the most important part, especially in this game, because we even see, we even saw when uh, Matthew Stafford was trying to hit Odell on that game-winning drive in overtime, where if we could have just gotten that touchdown, we would have won. He was, he had pressure backing up in his face, his own offensive lineman going into his face, and he couldn't get a good ball. A huge key is that protection, and we did great against Tampa Bay, really, really good at clean pockets, and look what the outcome was. Look at how good our offense was looking. Obviously, the turnovers were happening that game, but that was just fumbles. Stafford, you just got to be able to protect him, guys. Like, we have to give him enough time to be able to read through his options and be able to make good decisions, not having people going into him, running into him, and getting him possible injuries. That, I think, is a huge key for us. I don't know how well we're going to be able to run the ball with Cam Akers. Obviously, they're shutting that down pretty well. But I think if we protect Matthew Stafford, we win this game. But as for you guys, let me know what you think down below. I think that this is going to be a really fun game. I really want to get revenge versus these Niners. Keys are the same as last game. We got to be able to stop this run. That is the lifeblood of this team. That is what they do best. And that is how they can humiliate teams is if they're running well. 
and it's definitely not something that's easy to stop. We also have to be good at making the adjustments on the fly in game. I think Shanahan's really good at doing that. McVay, I think he's still getting better at that, but those are those huge keys that we have to have to win the game. They're definitely, they sound simple, but it's definitely not simple to accomplish because the Rams know this 49ers team better than any of the fans and they have not been able to stop it recently or recently. So I think we saw that we could beat these 49ers and it's going to be interesting if we actually can pull it off at home in the NFC Championship game to go to the Super Bowl. Let me know what you think, guys. Have a good, amazing day. Horns up and God bless.